I'm excited to share with you the 111 formula for authentic business. I look forward to seeing your comments and your questions below. Now, I'm excited because this kind of just came to me uh, a few days ago. And as I as this came to me, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's actually what I've been doing for years. And as I look at clients and students who have you know, done better in their business than not, like, ah, oh, this is what, what the people who have done better in a sustainable way have been doing as well. So here's the 111 formula. Now, 111, I happen to love repeating numbers, I guess, and especially 111, uh, 222, 111, 222. These are numbers that I particularly enjoy. So it just happens to, you know, again, maybe I'm fitting something into this formula, but I think it works. And so let me know what you think about this. So, so, so the 111 formula um, works with this idea of gradual growth, gradual, uh, consistent showing up to practice for your business. I see business as a practice. It's not a something you build and then it just brings money and blah, 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 blah. No, it's a practice of continually improving, tweaking, optimizing, and doing it all as personal growth, all as a spiritual growth. I mean, it's all, it's all just helping you practice your focus your connection to divine, all that stuff, right? Your uh, trauma healing <laughs> and et cetera, right? It's all personal growth. So, so 111 is a set of goals that we set um, that will bring you that gradual growth and that gradual like grounded skills development as well as market visibility. All right, so why 111? Well, it adds up to 111 by doing a series of content experiments, market research conversations, collaborations with colleagues, offers, gentle launches, and then practicing joyful productivity skills and doing some case studies. So how does that all add up to 111? Okay, here's, this is a one year plan. Okay, one year plan, it adds up to one. And over the course of the year, you're adding up these experiments and these these deliverables, these projects, these things you're doing, that it all adds up to one one. Okay, so how does that work? First of all, I am going to assume uh, 40 weeks that you're working during the year. I think that's quite generous. 12 weeks off, <laughs> okay? That's more, more, more time off than most people in the world. Don't you agree? <laughs> 12 weeks off. And that's actually what I do. I, I, do, I do 40 weeks a year of, of calls and things. My, my 12 weeks off, I still work. It's just, I don't have any calls and my work days are much lighter and all that stuff. But anyway, so 40, we're only, I'm only give, needing, requiring you 40 weeks uh, of, of, of a year. Okay. That's th three months off for you. Any, 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 any of the three months you want. So during those 40 weeks, you're doing one content experiment each week. Okay. And what is content experiment? It's basically posting a piece of content, doing something different than you've done before. Um, so in other words, you're not just copy pasting an old piece of content or re-uploading a video. That would not be a content experiment. And it might be content repurposing. It might be content sharing, sure. Content distribution, for sure. But once a week during your work weeks of the year, 40 work weeks, you're experimenting with either a new idea, like a new article, something you've written fresh, or a new format of some kind, like he's like, oh, I usually write, you know, thousand word articles. I'm going to try writing 300 words. Or I usually write 300 words. Now I'm going to try writing a thousand words. So some change of format. I usually write articles. I'm going to try making a video now. I, I usually make a, you know, 20 minute video. I'm going to try making a three minute video now. I'm going to try making a one minute video. I'm going to try doing a uh, you know, 15 second reel or whatever story, you know, video. So it's like you're, you're, you're experimenting something, you know, and the 40 experiments don't have to be all completely different. You, you might say, well, I haven't, I haven't experimented. I have not experimented with a one minute video for, for, for some weeks now. So I'm going to do it again. So it can be the same experiment, but hopefully not, you're not just upload, re-uploading. That's the whole point. You're not re-uploading something or you're not copy pasting. Now, you might still do more content during any given week, but that's the part of the formula is you're, you're doing at least one content experiment in any given work week. So, oh, I've never tried um, doing an Instagram carousel post before. Let me try that. Oh, I've never tried the carousel post with this background color. 
let me try that. You know, so there's always an experiment. Um, and hopefully the experiment is such that it's big enough where you think people will notice the change and react to it or not react to it. Because that's what an experiment is. An experiment may have reactions or it may have no reactions, but it's still an experiment. And you get 40 of them a year. Because what if I told you that the secret to your success is a two-digit number, 40. And would you, would you want to test which of those numbers as fast as possible? If I said, hey, your success is a num somewhere between one and 40. You just pick a number. You could pick, a, you could pick 40 times if you want to. How, how, how fast would you take? Okay, George, one, two, yeah, no, two or three. Yeah, four, no, okay, five. You would go as fast as you can through those numbers, to, right? Because that's the secret of your success is within those 40 numbers. And that's, that's what's happening with this as well. The secret to your viral content, like, oh my God, this thing got shared five times, 10 times, 200 times. The secret to that is within those 40 numbers. And so how fast are you going to test? Now, I'm, the pace I'm asking you to do is just one per week. But if you want to do it faster, I, I think you probably shouldn't do more than three per week, max, maximum, just to give your audience some time to rest between pieces of content. But if you want to do three a week, then you only take, you know, uh, 14 weeks to finish the 40 numbers. Now, why 40? Well, it's just because I work 40 weeks a year. That's, what, <laughs> that's, that's, that's the constraint is 40. I mean, some of you might not get to your viral content by 40, but I think most of you will. And when I say viral, I don't mean, oh, I just I posted that and now my career is made and I just have to sit back the rest of my life because all the leads are just coming in because that one piece of content gets shared forever. Sometimes it works like that. Some people tell me the problem there I have with, with something like that is people get lazy. Like I've had clients tell me over time or colleagues, oh yeah, I have one article just on Google. It gets me all my clients. I'm like, danger, danger, danger. You're lucky. You one article gets you all your clients. You want your luck, but Google is going to change their algorithm. They change it all the time. What happens then? You're relying on one lead source. Seriously, you one article. What happens? You're not creating anything more. You shouldn't have one that brings you all your clients. You should have a hundred that brings you all your clients. Because if Google changes something or Facebook or Instagram, whatever, then you still have ninety-eight of them. You see what I mean? Like, so anyway. But within the forty during the year, you're going to come up with one that's going to go more than the others. That's just, I guess, by definition. Which one of the 40 gets better reach than the, all the others? Because you're going to, now, hopefully you won't just analyze at the end of the year. You Hopefully you'll analyze every month or every two months. They go, hmm, of the four I made in the past month, which one did better? Because that informs my next experiments. Okay, so that's 40. Okay, that now we've added 40. We've already... Uh, 111 minus 40 is what? 71 now, right? Okay, so we have 71 more to go. Okay, next, 30. Market research conversations during the during the 40 weeks of, of, of your year. So that's approximately one per week. You can skip, as you, as you can tell, you can skip 10 weeks during your work, 10 work weeks during your year and still meet the number of 30 market research conversations. During, and by the way, I have I have courses on all of these <laughs> elements, so you could dip into you know the, this particular the market research. If you're wondering where I teach market research, I teach it in two courses. The core C O R E my my core program is for beginners in market research, people who've never done it before and who don't even know what to offer yet and want to figure out what to offer. And that's a you know, and then people who are further along and already have offers out there want to optimize their offers. I teach market research there as well. Um, so that's the offer revision workshop uh, or authentic offers or something like that. So those two programs, you can dip into either one, depending on your level and teach, learn market research. So 30 market research conversations during the year will teach you so much. It will, it will like, it will show you, ah, oh, that's what people want to buy from me. Ah, oh, that's how they want me to shape my offers. And in those 30 market research conversations, I am willing to bet you're going to get at least three clients out of that I mean, at, the, at the minimum, maybe even 10 or 15 clients. But I'm going to say three is a pretty conservative number to, to assume, right? 10%, you know, um, from these conversations. The, the conversation is not sales conversations. You don't set them up as sales conversations. They don't think it's sales, but it might naturally lead to them asking you more about it. It's That's the key of these things. Okay, so 30 of them. 
So now we're at, you know, what is it? 71 minus 30. Now we have 41 left to go. Okay. 20 collaborations with colleagues. I teach this in the Net Caring Collabs course. I have a whole course on collabs. So you can go into that if you want to. But collabs are some mixture between, you might be cross-interviewing a, a colleague, a, a peer of yours, or you might be cross-promoting something, or you might be um, just getting together and having an in-depth talk about each other's offers and how you can help each other, you know, or feedback about each other's offers. I mean, you might even like, you know, go through each other's courses or each other's services and give feedback and testimonials even, um, you know, so 20 collabs of, of some way. Okay. So now we have, um, we have 21 left, uh, no, 21, good, good number, 10 gentle launches, 10 offers, 10 gentle launches during the, during the year, which is, I think, very doable. You, you basically can gentle launch between February and, and November and, and still, or, or January through November and then take the summer, a summer month off or something like that. So 10 gentle launches a year and gentle launch. I talk about them in various courses. I, I'm going to one day finally teach a gentle launch course, but it's basically two emails or two posts, basically announcing your service in a different way than you have before. Let's say even, even if you have only one single service, which I hope you don't, I hope you'll experiment because that's part of the, that's part of the urgency here. You have a two digit number in this case, 10 to have a, best-selling service. Would, would you like to have a best-selling service? Like something like, oh my gosh, 80% of my clients come through this one service or this one package or this one course or this one event or this one program. 80% of my clients come through there. It's within your 10 experiments. The problem I have with a lot of you is like you have one service or you have like three things you launch during the year. Like that's not enough. You haven't gotten to your 10. So therefore you haven't gotten to your best-selling service of the year. You need 10. You need 10. 10 different courses, services. George, I have one skill. That's okay. You are going to frame your skill in 10 totally different ways. Your one skill, you have one coaching skill. Fine. One skill you framed to coach teenagers. Second offer, coach retirees. Totally different sales pages. Third offer, coach people who want to get promoted. Fourth offer, coach people who are trying to recover from a divorce or wanting to get a divorce or whatever. That. I just told you five different offers, one skill. You have one coaching skill, but you, I've just given you five different offers, completely different offers. That's what I'm talking about. You need 10 during the year of experimenting. So you know what's going to take off. How do you know? How do you know otherwise? Oh, George, people will get confused. No, they won't. People will see me as a flake. Who, who cares? If you don't test these 10, you will never know. You could be a great relationship coach and not a career coach. You could be a great teenager coach and not a retiree coach. How do you know? Unless you test those 10. You don't. Who cares if Aunt Sally thinks you're a flake? That Aunt Sally's not your ideal client. She might be for one of your offers, by the way. It's okay. Be a flake. Be a flake. I'm a flake. Let's be a flake together. I'm not a flake in terms of showing up, but I'm a flake in terms of offers. Oh, 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 oh I'm going to launch an offer next month. I'm done. It's okay, right? So you won't know until, until you try. So that's 10. 10 offers. Finally, six. <laughs> I feel like and a partridge in a pear tree at, at the end of this, right? But six <laughs> joyful productivity skills practicing, <laughs> okay? Six joyful productivity skills practicing and a partridge in a pear tree. Okay, so, so during the year, you're going to focus on <laughs> practicing one joyful productivity skill every other month. I think that's very doable. That's like good for your stamina growth. So it's like every other month, you're going to like look into the joyful productivity course and pick one lesson to say, I'm going to focus on that for the next 60 days to habituate that for 60 days, because that's how long studies say that a habit gets created 56 or I think it's like 67. Anyway, it's close enough, about two months to get habituated. So six joyful productivity practices during the year. And then finally, there's five left, five case studies client case studies during the year. That's what I'm asking you to create. It doesn't have to be fancy. It doesn't have to be, I was on the brink of death and you rescued me and now I'm <laughs> I'm a millionaire with the perfect spouse. No, it doesn't have to be like that, okay? But it's a, it's a, some kind of case study to say, when I first started working with you, when I first took your course, when I first joined your event, I had 
I, I, you asked me to score how I felt about three things. I scored how I felt about these three things. And by the end of the event, the scores doubled or the scores tripled or whatever it may be. Okay. I want you to come up with five of those case studies during the year. That's five. It's during the whole year, 40 weeks of work. I think it's doable. Okay. So anyway, that's all for the 111 formula. That is that that adds up to 111. If you add, you got those up. Let me summarize 40 content experiments. 30 market research conversations, 20 collaborations, 10 gentle launches, <laughs> six joyful productivity skills practicing, five case studies, and then partridge in a pear tree at the very end. That's it. So that's all adds up to 111. And I will tell you, this is pretty much what I've been doing for years. I just didn't know how to put it into a song yet. And uh, and if you do this, this is my best this is my best bet for you to succeed at this moment. I might come up with smarter ideas in the future, but this is, like I said, I, I don't see how someone can fail by doing this. So do it, do it well, step by step. And of course, uh, I, I would be not a good marketer. I didn't mention if you want to do this in a consistent community of support and encouragement, accountability and coaching from me, well, join my you know, mentoring program. Uh, we do this, you know, this is the framework for the mentoring program where we do this every single week. We track this. You'll be in a team of five that's tracking this together in a very loving, supportive way. And every single week you just show up with questions, anything to troubleshoot. You just come to one of the three Q&A calls with me every single week for the program, uh, just for the program members, three Q&A calls. So if you're interested, go to georgecow.com slash group to, uh, to, to check it out. Um, so yes, and I forgot to mention, there is one more, plot twist to this, which is, I mentioned 222, right? Well, why 222? It's basically an even better chance of you succeeding in this formula. How does that work? You simply double all those other numbers. You just double it and you got 222 and you have in, maybe double the chance of succeeding because you have 80 content experiments, right? 60 market research conversations, and which is doable. When I was doing market research in the very beginning, I was doing two or three per week. Two or three, every single week, I was doing two or three. So by the end of the year, I had done at least 100 market research conversations. Now, market research conversations, I'll, I'll give you a bit of a bit of an out in that you can do group market research conversations. You could you know, schedule a time and, and try to get two or three people there, and that counts as two or three, okay? So, so two to two, it's doable, all right? So 80 market research or 80 content, just double those numbers that, that I told you. And it's it's like, you, how can you possibly fail by doing that? It's, it would be almost impossible if if you're doing it in a particularly wise, I mean, and you'll get wiser over time, but I hope you'll like check in with me. Even if you're not part of my group program, check in with me on my monthly Q&A calls. If you buy one of my courses, you get monthly Q&A for two months. Check in with me. Just say, hey, am I doing this? Am I, am I, am I on track? Am I in the ballpark here? Because I don't want to be doing this experiments and not, not doing it in a way that's really helpful. So two, two, two. So anyway, I hope this is helpful. And uh, I look forward to seeing your comments and questions below.